We are now here in the resource centre where we have just came down from the Black Mountain and we have here with us Terry Enright who has been campaigning about the Black Mountain for many years. How long have you been campaigning to save the Black Mountain? Well, I actually started this around about 1987 after I had been walking on the mountain. I used to walk on the mountain quite a lot, I still do. And I saw the damage that was being done through the quarrying and also through illegal dumping. People who had just no respect for the environment at all and were only interested in themselves. What are the vital issues you're dealing with? The main issues are, are basically the destruction that has taken place to the mountain and how we can restore that at some stage because at the present uh, the damage that has been done is really, really vast and I have doubts whether we could restore it to what it was in the past. But there are plenty of examples in other countries where they have carried out restoration, uh, where they have been able to put, if you like, something there uh, not quite as good as what had been there, but nevertheless something which could be of benefit to the whole community. And eventually at the end of the day, I'm part of another thing which is the, called the Belfast Hills Partnership, where we hope eventually that the Belfast Hills, including the Black Mountain, will be turned into a country park where people will be able to go and walk with their children, with their kid, with, the, with their dogs and stuff, and enjoy the whole, the whole scenery that can be seen from the mountain and also the beauty of the countryside. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to stop the quarrying. We're trying to get the people who did the quarrying uh, and make them responsible for the damage that they've done. And hopefully we can, at some stage, use that as a way where people will get access onto the mountain and where people will be able to get the whole value out of the beauty of the mountains. Hello, I'm Paddy Mall, and we were interviewing Terry and Reid about the Black Mountain. Again, if any of you are going to speak or ask a question, it would be good if you said who you were for their benefit uh, or who you represent, what particular group you represent. <laughs> Now, there's something like 300 other quarries in the north of Ireland, so our argument has always been there's no need for them to be taking this from this particular place, they take the stone from other quarries, because this is the backdrop to Belfast, because communities live so close to it and suffer from all the effects of the extraction. The dust, the I have slides and stuff which shows the explosions taking place and the dust coming over the top uh, and, and covering the houses and things like that. So those are all, all the reasons we put forward that they should be. I'm here 
the bottom of Black Mountain. Here is the edge of Black Mountain. We're here to record some stuff you need. This is Cam's going to ask for John some questions. Why do you want yeah. to save the Black Mountain? Um, I want to save the Black Mountain because I mean I've lived within this community for most of my life and I used the Black Mountain for most of my life in my youth. Uh, it's one of the only places we had to go on, and I believe that it's a cracking habitat to have. I mean, you've all sorts of things here happening, you know. We've got a cracking landscape that looks down over Belfast. Um, it's natural resources are, are sagging and on, you know. You, can, you just have to look at it to see how beautiful it really is, you know. You're looking down into Belfast again, and being, as a, being a young person with a my own youth, I spent most of my time up there, and I've seen a lot of uh, devastation going on, and people were burning it. And I've just watched people quarrying out and taking all the natural resources that were in it, such so as all the racks and all that there. And I mean, if you get a, a proper look at the mountain itself, if you go further on over, um, you'll see a, a, a massive hole in it, you know, where it's being taken away, being blown away daily. And that's one of the reasons why I want to stab it. I mean, I want my, my children and my grandchildren to have to see what I had and enjoy the places where I've been on it. Excuse me, I can see you're walking up the mountain with your dog. How important is it to you? To go up the mountain, very important. I've always been up the mountain all my life. For the dogs and kids out of school, now I was a kid myself. And it's a pity to see it being destroyed. I don't like seeing it happen. That mountain is lovely, it's a lovely wilderness for all of us to use. And it's a pity to see it being exploded like that, getting destroyed by quarry lorries and that kind of work. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome any time. Okay? Yeah, thank you. Right.
Everybody here coming along and participating in this. And again, the people who set it up, Tommy and Burger and Sass and Al and all the ones who work in the resource centre. It's been a tremendous experience. Now, all the young people who took part showed just exactly how the mountain can be enjoyed. How people can get the best benefit out of the mountain as opposed to what's happening. Now, the destruction that's taken place there, everybody has been able to see it. Everybody sees the extent of it. And I think now, going back 17 years, we've been campaigning to stop this quarrying. And the people who were involved in it at the start have now died, have now passed on a lot of them. Old Eileen Fulton and the O'Hara sisters. But what I'm really glad to see is a young generation taking up that fight again to try and stop the destruction that is taking place. And what we have to do is to make those people who have destroyed it responsible for that. There's no way that we intend to let those people walk away and just leave a massive hole in the mountain. They're going to have to be accountable for that. And the other important thing is I want to say to all of you people, and these young people particularly, that the Lagans, although they've become millionaires, will be remembered as the people who tried to destroy the Black Mountain. You in the coming generations and your children and your grandchildren, you'd be able to tell them that you didn't stand idly by, that you tried to stop that destruction. Now I have no doubt that we will win this in the end, but what we have to do is to keep campaigning, keep harassing these people who are responsible in the DOE and the planning service and the people who made millions out of it. We're talking about millions. And they've just watched that mountain disappear. But I have no doubt that at the end of the day we'll make those people accountable. And that we will give that we will give that mountain back to the people who it belongs to. I don't care whose deeds are on the land. That mountain belongs to everybody. And we will have that mountain back again. Go to meet my other. Can you know anything when you think you know it all? 